What is going on, everybody? I hope everyone's enjoying their week. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Black Apino, the Apple Guy, and my channel specializes in tech reviews, unboxings, and tutorials. And today I'm going to show you two ways to export photos to your iPad from your DSLR camera or mirrorless camera and how to import them from your iPad to a wireless USB stick. And I'm going to show you how to do that. That way, if you want to free up space on your camera and your, or a GoPro and you wanted to save those photos without having to carry around multiple SD cards, I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, it's pretty simple. And I'll have a link in the description for all of the adapters that I'm using in this video and where you can get them at. So we're going to start off first with me. I'm just going to explain to you exactly what these are. I'm going to start with the Apple device first. This is what is known as a lightning to SD card reader. And basically this is going to work for pretty much any iPad that you've owned that runs the lightning. So say you had a uh, iPad pro, you had the first gen, then it would run a lightning. If you had all pretty much the iPad, uh, I believe when they switched it to iPad four or the air, Air 2, the iPad 5, the 6, and the 7th gen, and then you have the iPad minis, they all run the lightning, you'll be able to use this. But if you have, say, the iPad Pro 2nd gen and the 3rd gen, you'll be using something similar to this. The only difference is that it wouldn't be lightning to SD card. It'd be, U it'd be a USB-C to um, SD card. Now, again, I'll have a link in the description for that one as well if you have the iPad Pro, but... Um, it's pretty much the same procedure, just different connections. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take a SD card. This is from uh, my vacation I took uh, last year. And I'm going to import some of the photos that I have from this uh, to my iPad so I can free up some space on my SD card. And this will work with whether it's a video or a photo. You're basically just going to take that, connect that in, take that, and you're going to just connect it via the lightning port. And then that's it. And then uh, usually there's not going to be a way for you to know that it was actually connected to the device. What you can do is you'll go into your photos. And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to look at where it says on the bottom icons, where it says photos for you, album and search. Normally, if you don't have anything connected to it, that's the only four icons you get. But since we attach the lightning to SD card reader to this, it gives you a fourth option, which is import. So you're gonna tap on import. And then what you're gonna do is you are going to select whatever you want to import from the SD card to the iPad. And say I wanted to import this picture of this plane. What happens is now under where the Wi-Fi where it's the Wi-Fi connection and your battery, that is highlighted under the import. So say I don't select anything, it'll say import all. If I hit import all, it's going to literally import everything that I have off the SD card to my iPad. And it tells you exactly how many items and how much you have on the SD card. But since I'm only going to be doing just one photo, I'm going to select that. Then I'm going to click on import. Then I'm going to import select. And then that's it. From there, it'll tell me import complete. Do you like to delete the imported photo from the attached camera? Basically, it's asking me, do I want to delete this photo from the SD card? That depends on whatever you are importing. If you have enough space on your iPad, then you can do that if you wanted to. Say you want to free up space on, say, your SD card for your camera or your GoPro, then yes, you can do that. But since I don't really use this anymore because I have another one for my camera now, I'm just going to hit keep. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into albums. Then you're going to go into recent because it's going to be the most recent photo that you uploaded. And then as you can see right here, it's going to show the picture of the plane that I just updated and uh, uploaded. And that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. Now, again, if you want to import all that you have on your SD card, make sure that your iPad has enough space on it. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to import everything on it. Uh, usually people have the uh, have a problem with when they buy their iPads, they're not, they always say they want to use it to import photos, but they don't know if they have enough. So typically you want to remember that when you buy your iPad, that if you need the space, then buy the more space. Otherwise you always are going to have iCloud, but say you're out and about and you don't have the ability to use Wi-Fi, then this is the easiest way of doing it. Keep in mind, it's based on how much space you have on your iPad. So that is one way of doing it with an adapter, with an SD card. And this is going to, again, I'll have a link in the description on where you can grab this device, um, whether it's going to be the lightning to US or the lightning to SD 
or the USB-C to SD. Now the next option is this. This is known as this is known as a SanDisk wireless USB stick. Now it, it does require you to download an app in order for you to use it. So as you can see right here, this is the app that I currently have. This is called SanDisk Connect. And this is everything that I have in the app itself that is connected with the app. So the app kind of has its own little like storage within the app. So say I want to import a photo from my iPad to my USB stick. That's pretty simple. And I'll have a link in the description for this as well. This is a 128 gig version. Um, you can get smaller ones if you want. They do make a large one, I believe. I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look. If they do, I will have a link for that as well. So basically, you just tap on the button on the side. It's going to say power. What you do is you go into your Wi-Fi because it does require you to connect it Wi-Fi as there's a little Wi-Fi signal on the top of the USB, as well as you can also connect this to a computer and you can also drop and drag it that way if you want to. Um, but typically, I find it's just easier um, if you're not going to really do it that way, just to do it wirelessly wise, but everyone's going to be different. But that is what the USB stick is, the USB is portions for. Say you want to take your photos from your laptop and you want to drop and drag into this, you can do that. Keep in mind with newer Macs, they all run a USB C, so you may have to buy an adapter to do this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into my Wi Fi section, and then it's going to show right here where it says Sand Disconnect, and it's going to be this one right here. You connect on that, and don't worry if it says unsecured network, it's totally fine because you're going to be connecting the USB stick to the iPad, nothing else. It's connected. You go back into SanDisk, and then what you're going to do is you are going to hit the plus button, and then from there, what you're going to do is you're going to import whatever photo that you want from that to this. So, say I wanted to import a photo of my iMac and my desk setup. I tap on that, select destination, and it's going to go to whatever folder I want. So we'll just say we'll put it in photos, copy here, and then all it does is it's just going to copy. And as you can see, item was successfully added to photo on connect drive, hit OK. And then all you have to do is to affirm that it's there, tap on photos. And then you just go down and scroll to the last one. As you can see, it's right there. And that's all there is to doing this. It's, uh, it's a fairly easy process. It's one way of doing it without having to carry around an adapter if you didn't want to do that. But um, actually, it's actually pretty easy this way also because, again, so you have a camera and you want to offload all your photos that you've taken because you're running out of space on your SD card. Then you can simply just upload it to this, turn this on, offload it to this. And then again, depending on the size amount that you need, that's it. And then you just simply turn it off. And then to actually charge it, all you have to do is just take it and plug it into a USB port. And then that's how it charges itself up. But it does a pretty good battery life on it. So, I mean, rarely does it ever die on me. But um, that's pretty much it. And then once you're done, you just simply exit the app. Go into your Wi-Fi. And you can either turn that off or if you're uh, at a hotel, connect to the hotel Wi-Fi. And then that is pretty much it. So if this video was helpful, hit the thumbs up if you could. Uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, that way you never miss content. And I do drop content every other Thursday. And if you like videos like this that can um, give you a little bit more help with using your Apple devices, if you love these tutorial videos, just drop a comment in the comment section and I will do more of these. And then just also to give a heads up, I am going to be doing a giveaway once I reach 500 subscribers, I'm either going to do a giveaway of a Rode wireless mic, which I will drop in the link in the description on that. I did an unboxing of that. Or I might do either a camera or a computer. I'm not really sure which one I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to get some input from my subscribers. So what do you think I should do? Give away a wireless go mic. Should I do the camera or should I just do a simple laptop? And yeah, that's pretty much it. So again, thanks everybody for watching. This is Black Apino, the Apple guy and have a great week. Thank you.